What's going on guys, it's your big boy RNG to the scene, I'm back in the house with another brand new video. And today we're going to do something a little bit different, we're going to react and we're going to investigate this video that has gone completely bananas. Um, It has just been uploaded, actually it was uploaded on the uh, 3rd of October, by the time I upload this video it probably take about a couple of days or so. But in the meantime we're going to react to this um, specific video because it's talking about a specific race and uh, probably about a specific person but anyways we're going to react I have not watched this video I came across this video when my um, friends was actually texting me and said hey why don't you try doing a react video based on you know what you what you know for and what you are fighting for and that's when he sent me this link so I'm going to try to watch this video and understand completely and before I could even make any judgments and make maybe make any comments about it so what I'm going to do is we're going to watch it together and we're going to understand this and we're going to have a great time you know bringing down all the different kind of pieces and putting them together and let's see what we know alright guys the video is here um, apparently I did not check the title I just I forgot that what kind of video this is um, it says trans athlete remarks on the fight for reproductive rights at Women's March in DC. <sighs> well, it's going to be one of those videos where we're going to have to break down and bring the gospel into this and let's just see what, what this guy has to say. I am here to remind you to make it absolutely clear that people of all genders can have abortions. Okay, I'm going to have to stop you right here. What do you mean by all genders can have abortion? <laughs> the only people who can have abortion are females. <laughs> the only genders who are, who are available to do that are females. There's no such thing as that guys can have abortions. That's, that's literally impossible. You know, that's just insane. And people of all genders should have safe and legal access to abortions. Wrong. No and we should not have legal access to abortions because that would kill the human race and most importantly that would kill our future you know the people of the future especially the youths and the kids nowadays who want to grow up and have a better future they can't do that because guess what you kill them this is a women's issue obviously what and the hell are you doing here it is also a transgender man's issue pause the heck the video right here i mean what did you say transgender men so that means we all know what's happening here this person what we're looking at is actually a transgender so let's get this get let's get this whole thing out out of the way he's basically a woman i mean he was a woman and then he became a guy for some specific reason and now he's trying to fight for abortion for all the people who are gender and genderless and so forth and he's trying to pro prove a point well i'm here to tell you something dude men women i'm sorry but Seriously, you're not helping anybody. You're just creating more confusion for the next generation. It is also a non-binary person's issue. It is also a genderqueer, genderfluid, transmasculine person's issue. This no, it's not. It's about all of us. No, it's not. I'm just going to cut right to the chase. You're probably wondering why a man, me, is standing up in front of you to talk to you at the Women's March about women's rights. I am the first transgender athlete to compete for a Division I men's team in college. Big whoop, okay. Jackie Robinson was the first guy to actually compete in the first ever white league baseball group, okay. Not to mention, why doesn't he get any support? He was the first black man, but nobody gives him support. Everybody's talking about, oh, you're the first transgender to be part of the sporting group. Oh, you're the first transgender to be, to be a politician. Oh, you're the first transgender to go and fight in the Olympics. This is ridiculous, guys. I mean, this is not even worth the, 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 the time I have to spend here right now. I'm not saying this guy's not, this, I'm sorry, I can't really address this person as a guy because he was previously a woman. Now, I know this is the kind of thing that everybody's talking about where transgender, they are mistreated, they are being misguided, they are being misled, they are being, you know, torn apart because they don't know if they're actually the right gender when they're born. Well, let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen, you can choose your gender when you're born, okay? You either come out as a girl or as a boy. So if you want to change your, trans, your, your gender to something, you know, different, by all means, stop it. 
okay just because you can do something legally doesn't mean they are right biologically okay just because you woke up in the morning and feeling that oh i'm a bit feminine when i woke up that doesn't mean you're a freaking woman okay and just because a woman acts like a tomboyish boyish kind of attitude that doesn't mean you're a guy okay can you just stop with your nonsense this is a mental issue that you guys need to figure it out stop trying to act like you are creating more variety of genders there are only two genders when god created you know creation there's Adam and there's Eve and there's men, women, okay? There is no such thing that God created Adam and Steve, okay? Or Eve and uh, and Martha. There was no such thing as two females, as two guys on earth only. There was men and there was female. Get your priorities straight, get your head out of the gutter and stop, you know, poisoning people in today's era. And the key word, sports are cool, but the key word... Is transgender. The key word is mental health. Which means that although I am a man, I was assigned female at birth. Which means that I have a uterus. Which means that... No, that means you had a uterus. That doesn't mean you still have it. Now, you probably put a crotch on you for some specific reason. But anyways, you were born a female. Okay, I can't really... I don't really know what... this. I forgot this person's name also. I forgot to check it out. But still, um, you were once a female. Okay, you had, you know... You had breasts. You had, um, you know, the female... I'm not going to even mention it because I don't want... I just can't say it, okay? But you had all the female criteria, okay? You had all the female biological uh, stuff on you, and you basically grew up as a female. But at one point in your life, I think you 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 just woke up and you said, "Hmm, I think I want to start becoming a, f a a male and see how I can get into the mind of a guy." Well, there's no such thing, okay? Please, just because you are born what you are as a female doesn't mean you can just simply change and act like everything's okay there is no such thing your future is going to be tarnished and i'm going to say this very very out of the box you know out of the out of my league it's like you're doing something very sinful okay it is a sinful thing to do because when you mess with bio biology and when you mess with basic genetic you know stuff it's going to create a lot of issues i i prefer you just get off the stage right now and stop talking too much that i could get pregnant which means that I you could not not now not any longer i could need an abortion that means you could have an abortion now you can't you're you're just a guy right now you're you're a female transforming into a dude that's how sick it is you know i am here to remind you to make it absolutely clear that people of all genders what the heck are you talking about with all genders there's only two genders guys okay guys and girls who are actually watching this please do not fall into the traps of these transgender you know activists they're not doing the world a better chance or uh, they're not giving the world a better place or making it a better um, future for a brighter for our next generation they're going to cause more confusion okay I guess this is the time where we need to be very careful with who we meet and who we marry because we do not know what can happen I mean the person we marry could some somehow be a transgender or maybe the kids that grew up today might feel a bit you know weird or they might get you know a bit confused with what's happening here because I, be I bet kids watch this today and, they, and they're looking at this person and they're thinking to them like is he a boy or is he a girl and their parents are like astonished at this kind of at these videos can have abortions and people of all genders should have safe and legal access to abortions if that were to happen, do you know how much problem that would cause for the human race? That means any woman can just go and kill their baby and act like nothing happened. Dude, that's considered murdering. Some people will argue and say that's not murdering. You're basically c killing the living being before it's even born. It doesn't matter, okay, whether it was born after or before. What matters is once it's being formed in your mother's womb, automatically it's considered you're killing somebody because before it even is formed you're basically taking the life of something that could have been really special in the future you're destroying uh, another human being's life you know you thought you you thought murdering someone was bad in real life try murdering someone being before being born you know that person could have had a future that person could have changed the world that person could have you know cured cancer we do not know because you killed the you killed the baby this is a women's issue 100% and and what? It is also a transgender man's issue.
that's it. I can't take this video anymore. I'm I'm getting so worked up. I'm already halfway into the video and I'm and I'm not, and I'm still arguing about this. This is ridiculous. It is also a non-binary person's issue. No, it's not. It is not. also a genderqueer, genderfluid, transmasculine person's no, it's not. issue. This is about all of us. This is not about all of us. And I want to let you in on a little secret. Hopefully it's not a secret to you all because you're here. You should not have to have a uterus to care about abortion rights. You should not have to have a uterus to care about autonomy. You should not have to have a uterus to care about a person's what? right to choose to do what they do with their body. You should not have a uterus to care about whether to have an abortion? You should not have a... Okay, I guess he's trying to say that men should also get involved in this. And uh, not just m men and women, but also the gays, the lesbians, the non-binaries, I think. But I'm not here to argue over the fact that this person is talking complete rubbish right here. I mean, I mean, I know he means well, but at the same time, you're talking complete bullcrap. I mean, this is literally the dumbest thing and the dumbest speech I've ever heard in my life. Whatever happened to Martin Luther King's Jr. I have a dream speech. Everybody suddenly forgot about that, huh? That was one of the greatest speech ever written, you know, by a black man, you know, who fought for the civil rights movement in the 60s and 70s. You know, you're talking about an era gone by. And now we're dealing with abortionist people who are trying to fight for the rights to have an abortion. I mean, this is just insane. This is not even close to being an, a... a a welcoming speech or a good speech this is just horrible and besides even if somebody does want to get an abortion it's not easy as it seems you have to go through a process before you can just simply say i want to kill my baby you have to take certain precautions you have to go see doctors you have to go um, see medical uh, counseling and seek guidance before you can just simply take an abortion because you're basically going to take a life as i said and even if you're going to take a life you have to consult somebody who is going through the process of taking out that baby from you, killing the, the living creature inside of you. It's just complete murder, you know. It's just complete disgustingness. And you're telling me that men should be on board with this? You mean to tell me that if a, okay, if a husband and wife um, have kid, have a kid, or going to have a kid, let's just say, and then the wife suddenly says, Oh, let's just kill our baby. Let's just forget about it, you know. I mean, it's okay. We, we've already, we, we tried it. We made a baby. And let's just kill it, okay? We, we, it's not even born yet. Let's just try to do something different. I don't want to have a baby. I mean, it comes to a point where a woman will say something like this, and not just that, it's the husband's responsibility to agree with the wife. There is no such nonsense, ladies and gentlemen. We are living in an era that's basically going to destroy the future of the young generation. That means they're, they're, they're saying that abortion, getting an abortion is basically okay. Getting an abortion is basically very good. That you're basically making your own decision. You're not going to let anybody dictate to you what you can or cannot do. That's absolute... I, I just can't handle this anymore. I am a transgender man. I have spent my life fighting for my right to choose what I do with my... You have spent your life, dude, dude, you're probably like in your 20s. What life have you spent to fight for anything, dude? Everything was spoon-fed to you. Your parents actually paid for your college education. They, they paid for your high school. They even paid for the food and the education and not to mention the, 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 the gifts that you got. And I bet they even paid for your surgery, dude. What are you talking about? You have, you have fought for your life. What are you talking about? You have fought for everything. I mean, don't. This is the problem with people who think that they're so great when they when they stand on a stage and they act like they're doing something great. The only thing you should be doing something great is fighting for the truth. This is not the truth. This is just complete rubbish. You're fighting for something that's going to tarnish the future of many youths, many children in the future, because they're going to watch this video and they're going to be like, oh, so I can do whatever I want with my body. It's okay to kill another human being before it's born. So this is the problem we are dealing, dealing with, you know, in today's era. My body, my right to get top surgery, my right to take gender-affirming hormones, my right to have access to gender-affirming life saving health care we should all have access to life saving health care am i right am i right
pro-life rhetoric is not truly pro-life, because if it was, they would support all the things that save lives. Like fighting for black liberation and ending police brutality. Like fighting for gender-affirming health care to save trans kids' lives. Like ending conversion therapy that kills queer kids all the time. Pro-life is truly pro-control. Pro-life is about controlling anyone's body that wants to dismantle or that rejects the cis-hetero patriarchy. Okay, I kind of understand what he's trying to say. Um, I, do, I do agree with one part is that everybody deserves a proper health care and a proper plan for their future when they have certain health issues. But changing your gender and getting yourself, you know, you know, check, uh, transform into some other gender is just unnecessary for your health care. I mean, be, as I said, this guy is trying to say is that they're trying to control us, they're, they're trying to control our body. No, they're not. They're trying to help you, okay? The purpose of them trying to help you is because of this. You see, you have to understand, before you can do something different like changing your gender, you have to go through a process of, as I said, doing counseling, doing some medical, going through some medical doctor's opinion. You have to, because not everybody's body is built to have this sex change. Not everybody is doing it. If everybody was able to do it, the whole world would have been different. But in this case, we're looking at a different kind of you know, um, people who, who have problems with their body, who cannot acquire a certain kind of genes or genetics that they can become a certain g uh, gender. So you have to understand that just because they tell you that they don't support and that, that they're controlling, it's because they're trying to protect you and trying to protect your body from certain malfunctions that will happen in the future. As I said, just because you can do something legally doesn't mean they are correct biologically. Just because you can change your gender, that doesn't guarantee 100% that in the future you won't have any problems and you won't end up getting a lot of issues when you are having a sex change there is a certain you know problem when people do something like this they think that it's my body i want to change my gender it's no problem but the problem is is that when you change it there is no going back some people say oh i'm a guy i can be a girl no problem but if i don't feel like being a girl anymore i can come back to being a guy well once you do it it, there's no such thing as going back, you know. You Once you do something already, there's no such thing that you can transform into another person. It's like getting a tattoo. When you get a tattoo, you have a smooth... Before you get a tattoo, you have a smooth skin. Then when you apply tattoo, it automatically sticks to your skin for life. Then it comes to a point where you're like, oh, okay, let, let me get rid of this tattoo. And you get rid of it. And there's a big, big patch right there that indicates that you had a tattoo last time. It's just basically like that. You can't change something that's already been done. And besides, even when you are right now as a guy, you cannot change into a girl anymore because, first of all, the amount of money you have to spend. Second of all, the amount of genetics and amount of, um, you know, doctor's opinions you have to consult just because you want to go back. It might kill you, it might not, but at the end of the day, it's going to cost you some part of your life. All of us here are hopefully here to reject the cis-hetero patriarchy because we all deserve the right to do what we want to with our own bodies. We deserve the right to choose. What I have done with my body, my choices in my body, have allowed me to stand in front of you today, have allowed me to become the first transgender athlete to compete for a Division I men's team, have allowed me to fight for trans lives and for people's lives to be themselves. We all deserve that right to choose. Our bodies, our choice. I want you to say it with me. Our bodies, our choice. Our bodies, our bodies, our bodies. Thank you so much. Well, there you have it, guys. Um, that's just the end of the video. But I just want to clarify something before we end this video. Just because you can do something legally doesn't mean that they're correct biologically, as I keep repeating. But it's true. The thing is, is that when he mentions our body, our choices, he's trying to indicate to them is that you have the free will to do what you want. You can do whatever you want to your body. You can grow a third arm or a, or a, another toe, or you can 
put a second nose on your face if you want to do it. I mean, <laughs> I, I'm not trying to, 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 to disclaim the fact that you can do what you want to do in the sense that do it responsibly. You see, you have a duty to the future of the next generation. A lot of people today, they're so self-centered about themselves. They're always saying things like, I want to do what I want to do. You know, I have the free will. I have the ability to do what I want to do. And technology today is very possible. So I can do whatever in the world I want to do. But the thing is that just because you can do them, that doesn't mean that they're correct. Like if somebody were to murder someone and if they tell you that I did it in the act of defending myself, that doesn't mean it's true. I mean, that person had different intentions when they murder someone or that person can have a different opinion when they say I murdered this guy because he was my, he was angry with me. He did this, he did that. It's a different kind of way to do it, you know. I mean, the justice system is different. The law is different, and the way we handle abortion is also different. I mean, I just pray that, you know, something will change in the lives of people in America. And I want to tell you all something. You may have the free will, but that doesn't mean you can do whatever you want with your body, okay? Like, example, if I want to become a lady right now, I mean, I can choose to, but I do not want to because of the... I have to think about my future. I have to think about my children. I have to think about what's going to affect them in the future. Are they going to look at me and say, hey, daddy, hey, mommy, or are they going to look at me and say, are you a guy? Are you a girl? Or maybe when I visit them in their school and their kids make fun, their friends make fun of me or make fun of them. So it comes to a point where I have to put aside all my distractions and have to focus on my future, on my kids' future, on the future of my family, on the future of myself and the future of God's ministry. Some people think that it's okay to have an opinion. Sure, everybody has an opinion. You can have an opinion on whatever you want. But the thing is, is that are your opinions true? Are they going to present themselves accurately to help people in the future? Because if you're just going to blabber stuff like my body, my choice, how is it supposed to help people? That means anybody can do whatever they want. They can commit murder. They can get abortion. They can, they can do whatever they want to their body. They can cause so much problems. And that's the problem we have in today's generation is everybody thinks that it's okay to do what they want to do. It is okay to do what they feel like they desire it to do. The thing is, whatever happens in the lust of mankind becomes a sinful nature in reality. Like this person here was actually considered um, a female, but he trans she transformed her herself into a guy which now it's a complete different story i mean i didn't even know the fact that this was a guy in the beginning okay if i knew that this person was actually a female i wouldn't even question anything that this person say but the fact that this was a transgender it 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 just goes to show that it's completely ridiculous. That a lot of people nowadays, they think that it's super heroic when you're standing on the stage, you're declaring abortion is actually important in future. But the problem is you're actually just babbling nonsense. And what happened to the parents of America? You know, what happened to the parents, you know, that would tell their kids, no, you can't do this. No, you can't do that. You can never do something like this. It is against God's um, will and is against his teachings and it's against spirituality of life. So we're coming into an era where a lot of things are changing and a lot of things are getting crazier. But I just pray to God that the parents in America will have the wisdom and have the godly wisdom that they can do to help kids like this. Because kids like this, they're actually going to, to cause a lot of problems in the future. People think it's okay. Oh, let the young generation handle the future. Oh, let the young generation do what they want to do. They're young, they're active. You keep telling us like this, guess what? We're going to end up doing worse stuff like this. Maybe next time we will storm the White House again. Or maybe next time we'll go protest on the street. Or maybe next time we will not have jobs. We'll just stay at home with our parents. Uh, how, I mean, these, these things are getting really out of control. We're actually coming to a point in our life where things are not controlled properly. And America is really sunk down. You know, they used to be a country that rise up from every occasion. But in this kind of situation where they're fighting over gender, they're fighting over things that, 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 that they can't, that they want to control. I mean, this has caused America to actually go downhill. I mean, that's why a lot of people are so upset with this and including myself and because the future is supposed to be bright for our young generation but if they keep tuning in online to watch these kinds of nonsense then obviously we're going to have to deal with a lot of 
craziness in the future. I mean, we're going to have to try harder to protect our kids. We're going to have to try harder to instill biblical truths into them. And we're going to keep track on them so they don't go off the railway, you know. It's just something that we have to do as parents, as responsibility leaders, and as future pastors of the next generation. We really have to be serious about this. We cannot just simply say that it's okay, let them do what they want to do. They will never learn when you tell them stuff like that. You know, the Bible says, um, flee from the evil desires of the youth and pursue righteousness, faith, love, and peace. You know, these are desires from today's world where they, uh, they, where they offer you, you know, certain benefits. They think that it's going to help you in the future. They think it's going to give you a certain, you know, a title. They're going to think like it's going to give you a certain um, luxury or happiness. But actually, we have to be careful, you know. We got to teach our youths, our kids. We even got to teach adults also that these kinds of, you know, activists, these kinds of, you know, next generation beings, these kind of next um, awakening movements are actually very destructive and they're going to cause a lot of problems and they're actually going to destroy the lives of many people, you know. It's something that we should really pay attention to and I know sometimes people will be like, oh, I don't care, leave them alone. They're, they're not going to do anything. They're just talking only they can talk 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 all they want but what happens when all the talking becomes reality what happens when all the talking suddenly becomes a war what happens all the talking suddenly becomes something that happens to you or to your family or to your kids especially i mean you think that they're just talking but actually behind the scenes they're doing something a bit more sinful this is what happens when the devil comes into place and takes over a certain country that's very biblical, that's very full of Christianity and have taken the people and have manipulated their minds and have caused them to turn away from God and focus more on the desires of the world and the desires of today. As a Christian myself and as a Christian, whoever is watching this, we have to be careful with what we say to our young kids, with what we say to the youths today, and what we are going to do tomorrow to impact the young ones, okay? Because the thing is, if we are going to continue to talk things and say that LGBT is okay, gays is okay, you can have a sex change, that's okay, there's no problem, it's your body, my body, my choice, then th that's the problem there. Then we're going to allow all these to continue and continue and continue and continue until we barely see a change happen in in, in America, we need to pray for this country, we need God to intervene, and we need the power of the Holy Spirit to, to manifest in this country once again. We need a revival, not just in Malaysia, not just in America, but in the whole world. We need the world to be on, on fire for God, and we need the Christians, you and I, Christians out there right now, who are watching this, who are praying, who are, you know, just listening to all the different kinds of news, we need to stand up. Stand strong and press on towards what is the kingdom of God. You know, we cannot press on to the worldly things, but press on to the things of God. We need to do this, ladies and gentlemen. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm sorry if it's a bit of a ranting video, but it's something that I have to share to a lot of people and to the youths today. It's something we all need to pay attention. Because if we're going to wake up one morning and find out that um, the world is completely fallen apart in, 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 and everything has gone bananas, then I think we really need to do something right now. we got to start doing something right now, guys. And that's not just only sitting at home, watching YouTube, watching Netflix. We have have to get out of our butts, get out of the house, go and do something guys, go and preach the gospel, let the fire burn inside of you and let the fire burn in every heart who hears the gospel. Let God be praised, let Jesus be praised also and let the Holy Spirit manifest in their hearts and in their lives. I also want to thank you guys so much for your wonderful support, you know, do leave a like, share, share, subscribe, comment on the video too, helps me to prove myself, do subscribe to my channel for more videos, I try my best to get videos out there but at the same time I do plenty of videos actually, I do a different variety of videos. I used to do vlogs, I do gaming, I do, um, you know, a reviewing, I even do um, certain things like traveling videos, I even do also react videos and commentary videos like this. I mean, I'm trying to do my best to get the, the message out there and to get the truth out there also, the gospel out there. And if you guys really uh, love to see more, I will definitely keep doing it and I'm going to continue to do it for the sake of the gospel and for the sake of the future of the young generations. You know, to bring forth God's kingdom into the many people's lives and to the families and to the, my friends and to everybody around me. I want to make sure that the gospel is being set forth 
in every heart and in every individual. So once again, thank you guys so much for support. Do leave a like, share, and subscribe. Comment on the video too. Helps me to improve myself and do subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. Take care, God bless, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.